Welcome everybody to Enshrouded. I'm RP Gaming and thank you so much for letting me steal a little bit of your time. This is Enshrouded. It is a new game RPG. Build, survive, thrive in a land consumed by the Shroud. This game has been uh, compared to a lot of different games. Uh, everything from Valheim to Conan, Conan Exiles and other games so what i am planning on doing in my playthrough for you guys is we're just going to play it and we're going to see what it's all about just by playing it so thank you so much for joining me everybody and i do appreciate all the support i get on this channel and i hope you guys enjoy a survival playthrough and i hope you are going to be there with me and help guide me and also decide if this is the kind of game you'd like to play when you get off work at the end of the day I know I will. This is an awesome game. You've slumbered for too long, Flameborn. The realm of Embervale has fallen, consumed by the Shroud. Now the enduring flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create a shelter from the dark. All right, let's get started. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous game. Uh, we are absolutely naked. We have nothing. We start with nothing. Uh, I hit B. I can get a world map here. My journal with my quest to claim a spot for your base. We've got crafting. I'm going to go ahead and just click this by. You guys can read it. We've got our backpack, which is B, our character. All we have are these shorts. They give us nothing. We have zero protection. This is just a Keep us from being naked. This is our skill tree, survivor, blade master, ranger, assassin, trickster, wizard, healer, battle mage, tank, warrior, barbarian, athlete. So the game is totally set up for multiplayer for 16 players, as well as solo. We will be exploring the game at its solo level, but it is built for 16 of your friends if you would like to play that way. A vast world awaits you, filled with secrets and peril. Press I and navigate to the map to track your discoveries. All right. Kind of already did that. And we'll go right over here. And there we go. Now all it wants us to do is to reach this area right there where that red flame is. So thank you so much, everybody. I hope, I hope, I hope that you guys are going to love this game because it is really really on fire right now uh everybody's been kind of waiting for this uh the big channels are definitely all over this game everybody's playing it cage everybody uh gamers edge g9 the whole uh the whole gang has got this thing in their sights and i just want to bring it to you guys and let you guys see how i play it my take on it and i have played the demo i played the demo for a few hours let's go ahead and grab an extra one of these because we don't have a weapon yet and uh, sometimes you can get a weapon in this early part of the game here uh but sometimes you can't and i don't know what our luck is going to be i'm going to show you what i know of the game for the brief time that i got to play it during the demo so i'll show you anything that i've discovered along the way like right here we do have an area here that we can break and we do have a chest that we can take. All right, so that's just gonna give us some bandages and another torch. And I don't think there's anything else around here, so let's continue on through. So I'm very anxious and very curious to see what you guys think about Enshrouded. Have you played Enshrouded? And if you have, I would be very hopeful that you'll be able to help guide me through Enshrouded. And uh, that way I can enjoy this game to its fullest uh with any uh with any help that you guys give me so let's uh let's read this the flame allows you to resist the shroud but if you linger you will perish escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud all right so let's uh push on keeping an eye open for any kind of uh chest or anything that we can get all right so we are in the shroud we can press tab to lock onto our foes and control to dodge all right excellent here we go all right, that guy wasn't too bad. So when you play the game and you start your world, I did not find anything that was uh, going to give me any kind of settings. It just kind of starts up like this. We got some runes, we have some spores, and we have some torn cloth. We can now make a glider, which is also one of the cool things about the game, is you get a glider and grappling hook. 
you know, anything where I can craft and I can build a base or a dwelling, I'm I'm just totally into that. I really, really love building, as you guys know, if you've followed any of my ranch simulator series. Uh, but this is survival. This is this is not uh, this is not your ranch anymore. This is out here in the uh, in the shroud, man. All right, we have a new recipe unlocked. Let's go ahead and let's open up our crafting and let's see what we can make. All right, so we need torn cloth, which we have, and string in order to get a uh, set of ragged uh, armor going, which is better than what we have. We need wood for our workbench, and we need stone for our, our flame altar. So we have to start getting stuff here. So let's kind of look around and see if we can gather up some stuff in order to get us going in the game here. All right, we just reached level two. Let's go ahead and check out our skills. I'm going to go and unlock Survivor right now and increase my endurance since I am solo playing the game. And any other points that I may have had right there, I will save them until I figure out which path I want to go down as far as how I want my character to play out. This is lore. I'm going to open up the lore and then you guys can read it. I'm just going to leave it there for a second. Uh, I'm more about, uh, you know, I, I love exploring and the lore is great and all and, you know, perhaps I might read it from time to time, but for the most part we'll just be pushing through and trying to advance ourselves the best we can. All right, this I know if you break this down. Oh, we got a rat there. That's awesome. Good. All right, so we're going to go through some of these torches because this is all we have right now until we get some resources. But there's some string and there's some more torn cloth. So anytime we see these around, we do want to break them. And that way we will be able to get some torn cloth out of the deal. So any bales of cloth we're going to break. I want to get a, a weapon going as fast as I can here. We got to get this guy. Kind of stuck in here. All right, we got him. All right, we got some wood. Go ahead and grab that wood. All right, we need wood and stone to get uh, to get going here. Let's see. We also need this. This is fiber. We're gonna need this a lot. Let's just kind of get. Oh, what do we got here? Hey, buddy. Uh, this guy's had, had had better days, I guess. And right, we got some string here. What else we got? We got this letter right here we can read. All right, that opens up the uh, captain's journal, Ancients in the Flame. All right, anything else? It's an appear to be. Some water. We have two bars down here on the bottom underneath the tack, and you use uh, Alt to get to the other bar there. Let me go ahead and open this up. I want to, uh, okay, I already have the water equipped. Excellent. Let's go ahead and drink some water. That gives us some uh, maximum stamina. All right, let's continue on here. Right, this looks like the uh, ruins of an old town. But it does have... Ooh, we have a... Another chest here. We got some wooden arrows. Healing potion. Got some more wood over here. Got a fire over here. We got some meat. If I can get that. Yeah, got some meat. Meat. And this is a mushroom. Let's go ahead and hook. And right there, I just rolled my mouse over to that uh, icon that looked like a piece of food. And we're going to go ahead and hold our left mouse button. Going to cook this. One sizzle. And that's done. Two sizzles and it becomes tar. 
All right. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and eat that. There we go. We got our food. Food poisoning. Why are we getting food poisoning? That doesn't seem right. Let's go ahead and eat this one and see what happens. There we go. That increased our our health bar. I wonder I wonder what was poisoned. Maybe uh maybe it was that mushroom. I think I ate the mushroom actually. Alright, we already drank water. We've got some lore right here. Let's go ahead and read it. There we go. You guys uh go ahead and read that. Gonna keep looking. Uh, I guess we're taking a little bit of uh, DOT damage here, but you know. All right, this this is the shroud. We just woke somebody up. All right, let's get ready for fighting. Right, this guy's stunned. All right, hopefully my energy doesn't run out, and it didn't. Let's see what we got. We got some cloth. And I don't know what this is. What is that? That is shield. All right. Let's go ahead and equip that. All right. There we go. Got ourselves a shield. We'll collect that rock. Got this thing right here. Let's read this. Fall into ruin. There we go. Got a new recipe. We can build a, a hatchet. In fact, let's go ahead and see if we can build something right now, real quick. Weapons, shield, club. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's build ourselves a club that's going to help us out. Let's open up this. Let's go ahead and move some stuff around. We don't need any sticks on our hot bar. All right, we've got a few of these. This one we're going to go ahead and delete. Going to keep our food and our our health right there along with that all right that looks good all right let's move on and here we go all right let's explore this place now and right, i feel a little bit better knowing that i have a weapon and we have the shield we have anything back here yeah, so we should be able to uh, break some stuff up now with this as well. So that's going to be good. We got a sheep over here. Got something down here. More lore. You guys go ahead and read that. Got something over here. Go ahead and take that. I'll loot that. Got something nasty right here. Right. I think this is where we fought those guys. Alright, what's this? Dismantle. Dismantle. Old books. Oh, alright, cool. Dismantle. Old books. What is this, like, perpetual? Alright, great. We got old books. We got a beehive over here and uh, some twigs. Let's go ahead and grab the twigs. Let's get the beehive. More, uh... plant fiber that we need there. All right, let's start picking up some stuff here so that we can get our workbench made. I hear a wolf. Here he comes. Yeah, I think we're going to do just fine out here, folks, now that we have this uh, shield and this club. So we're just going to uh, head on over to where we're supposed to be, right this way. I'm going to pick up resources along the way, and let's get our our flame altar built. What do we have here? All right, somebody killed a goat for us. Not 
pick up all this stone. I know we need stone to make the altar. I hear a wolf. Here he is right here. All right, come on. Looks like you're kind of stuck there, my man. Let me help you out. Take your hide and your bones, and I'll take some more of this. Yeah, this is this is a beautiful game. You know, it's compared to, like I said, Valheim mostly, but I see uh, so many so many other things that uh, the game the game is to me. I see it being more than a Valheim type of uh, game. The only thing I think right now that I see in common with Valheim is the fact that we can dig into the ground, that it has voxel elements. I guess that's what that's called. I'm not sure. Uh, after all, this is the average guy playthrough, right? This is, is this game the kind of game that we can come home after work and get into it, right? Oh, we got some bad guys over here. Let's see what's going on. How you doing? There you go. Oop, we got another guy over here. Let's, there you go. Guy's done. Oh, you got me right in the back there, buddy. All right. Getting some more cloth. All right, cloth and spores. That's what we need, which is awesome. Let's collect this. Twigs. What else? We got anything hidden over here? We're out of it just as fast as we're into it. All right, let's go ahead and use a bandage. Get ourselves healed back up. I'm going to save the uh, potion. Like I said, okay, where was I? What is this? Well, this is a hive. Let's go ahead and harvest this. All right, we need to get over to uh, here so that we can build our base. It's getting dark. So let's get the uh, our stone altar down and claim our spot. I'm going to go over here. Got to get, get as much flat land as possible. You know, I want to be able to build nice and flat. So let's do it right here. Let's open up our crafting. Flame altar. Let's hit space. There we go. All right, here it is, number four. And yeah, let's go ahead and get a nice flat area right here. Boom. That looks good to me. Let's go ahead and commune. You are not alone. There are other survivors drowsing in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid in your journey. Go gently. One beckons nearby, just outside of the shroud's grasp. All right, we can upgrade the altar. We can upgrade. Uh, we can upgrade, strengthen the flame. We can, you know, strengthen the flame. I should say. And the skill points, if we want to reset them, we can right here. These uh, items right here, you can get just by breaking down stuff that you don't want uh, anymore. Certain items, so you'll always have plenty of those. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to see, can I build my bench yet? I need to build a workbench. And I need some more logs for that. So can I build a axe? I can. Can I build a pickaxe? I can. I'm going to go ahead and build a campfire. I'm going to build the construction hammer. And right now, I do want to get a bow. I need string. So let me go ahead and make some string. And let me go ahead and make a bow. And that'll take care of that. And I think arrows are just wood arrows or twigs. So there we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at our backpack. All right. Let's make some uh, alterations here. Let's get rid of some stuff. Keep that there. Keep that there. I'm going to go ahead and put this here. We'll put our axe here. We'll put our pick here. We'll keep our hammer on number five. We've got our campfire here. 
Uh, we're not going to use that yet. I need to put down a base around our altar. We've got our food stuff here. I'm going to throw this up here. This food's good enough right now. I'm going to go ahead and throw these down here. All right, we're looking good. All right, let's go ahead and uh, gather enough resources to put down a stone floor around this altar. So it's nighttime right now, you guys, and it's no use in recording at nighttime. So what I'm going to do is, uh, while this is uh, into the evening, I'm going to go right around this area and gather as much stone as I can. I'll be right back. I'll catch up with you in a, probably when it's daylight. Welcome back, everybody. I've been uh, grinding throughout the night. The daylight has just come upon us, and I've got a got a nice abundance of uh, materials that I've gathered throughout the night here. I've got 156 stone. Uh, I've got 173 wood, and that should let us do everything that we need to do. So, yeah, everything is alive on the uh, board here. We can make more arrows. Uh, we can do a lot of things here. So we need to get the first thing. We need to get our workbench done. So let's go ahead and craft our workbench. And uh, again, guys, thank you so much. If you're joining me through this playthrough, I uh, cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. Uh, it means the world to me that you guys are here with me when I'm doing these games and we're uh, kind of doing it together. So I'm going to put this right here and you can move items in the game which is super awesome so wherever you put it it's not necessarily uh it doesn't necessarily have to stay there all right so let's open this up and what we need are some rough stone blocks so let's go ahead and make a few of these all right we're gonna need some of these as well made out of wood because i'm gonna make the house out of wood i'm gonna make the floor out of stone and then we're gonna have a plant fiber uh roof so let's go ahead and throw down some of this uh flooring here so we got to get into our hammer once we get into our hammer we have to hit tab and let's go ahead and go through this you guys can read it and i'll demonstrate it basically uh, i want a bigger piece than this one so i'm going to go down to this size and now this is the size of the altar so we're going to go ahead and put a piece here put one here all right, so that's the start. Now, the house is going to be facing, let's see, where are we here? So we need uh, enough room to build. So we're gonna build out this way. This will be our front area. So we'll lay out some of this floor now to get our, get our base going. All right, excellent. I think I don't think I can no I can't build past here because that's as far as I can go right now but this will be good enough until we get the base upgraded and then that will extend our reach so we'll go ahead and switch over to new material by holding down control and then rotating the mouse to the wood and then we're going to go ahead and roll over here to a door setting right here and I'm going to put the front door. Basically, uh, before I do that, let me get rid of the uh, workbench. Right, pick that up. Let's get it over here so it's not in our way anymore. And that way we can go ahead and build up our walls here. And the, the goal of the uh, first episode is get ourselves housed. Get, the, get our base, get our little cabin going. And then from there, uh, we'll, we will push on. But for the for the most part right now, what I want to get done is I want to get this base done. So let's go ahead and continue with that. All right, let's go ahead and get a roof on this. All right, let's craft some more of these plant fiber roofs. There we go. All right, here I'm going to use a four millimeter roof. And this right here is the corner. Let's go ahead and get this turned around in the right way right there.
All right, there we have it. We have the uh, construction of our new little uh, home built. We are able to have those nice pitched roofs. And let's take a look at what we got in here. This looks amazing. I love it. Check that out. All right, so we've got our workbench. Uh, I do have, let me see here. I thought, did I make? Yes, I did. Let's go ahead and put this right here. And we can put these here. We're going to have to make some storage. Uh, but I do want to put down a campfire. There we go. All right, so that's awesome, everybody. I need to cook myself up some food here. I can cook mushrooms, which is awesome. And uh, remember, one sizzle, and that's all it takes to cook. Let's go ahead and cook up some raw lean meat. Very good. Okay, now, all we need to do at this point is uh, start to uh, travel through the shroud. But we still need to make up some armor. Uh, we are on our way to becoming ready for that quest in order to uh, free up the blacksmith. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to have to call it right here. I am going to do a couple of things off camera with the base. I'm going to add a couple of the amenities that you need in order to get your rested bonus up. You can see the rested bonus right there. Uh, nine minutes, 27 seconds. Uh, we need to get that boosted up. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. And uh, please do me a favor. If you want to see more of the series, and I hope you do, I'm looking forward to having you guys in the back seat for this one. Hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hey, welcome. And why not subscribe? Anyway, thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. Ta-ta and bye-bye.